क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन लेट एक्स बी द सेट ऑफ द सेट ऑफ ऑल नॉन एम्प्टी सबसेट ऑफ वन टू सबसेट ऑफ वन टू टेन ओके डिफाइन ए रिलेशन ऑन एक्स ए इज रिलेटेड टू बी इफ एंड ऑन इफ द स्मोलेस्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू द स्मोलेस्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ बी फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर द स्मोलेस्ट एलिमेंट इज वन हियर ऑल्सो स्मोलेस्ट एलिमेंट इज वन सो दे आर इक्वल बिकॉज द स्मोलेस्ट एलिमेंट इज वन एम इज द नंबर ऑफ इक्वलेंस क्लासेस एंड एन इज द नंबर ऑफ इक्वलेंस नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन द इक्वलेंस क्लास ऑफ दिस वॉट इज एम प्लस एन सी द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल अ सेट इज गिवन टू यू वन टू टेन एंड वी आर सेंग दैट एक्स इज वॉट इज एक्स वॉट इज दिस एक्स इज आवर बेस्ट सेट रिमेंबर वॉट इज एक्स एक्स इज अ सेट ऑफ ऑल नॉन एम्प्टी सबसेट मीन्स दिस एक्स दिस इज सेट दिस इज सेट ऑफ ऑल नॉन एम्प्टी सबसेट ऑफ दिस आई कैन से यू हैव एस सच दैट एस इज नॉन एम्प्टी एस इज नॉन एम्प्टी एंड एस इज सबसेट ऑफ वन टू टेन सो दिस इज योअर सेट एक्स कैन एनिमेंट टेल मी हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर देयर इन सेट एक्स वॉट इज द कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ सेट एक्स वॉट इज द कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ सेट एक्स सी इन सेट एक्स यू हैव सबसेट ऑफ दिस नॉन एम्प्टी सबसेट ऑफ दिस सो द कार्डिनेलिटी विल बी टू पावर टेन माइनस वन दिस माइनस वन बिकॉज ऑफ फाइव ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द कार्डिनेलिटी दिस विल बी वन जीरो टू थ्री दीज मेनी एलिमेंट्स इन द बेस सेट सो दिस इज योअर बेस सेट we are defining the relation r on this set x so remember on this set x what is set x this is like i can say power set of 1 2 3 10 10 minus, minus this element okay is this clear this is x x is equal to power set of 1 to 10 means subsets of 1 to 10 minus this subset you remove so this is your set x i am defining a relation r on x i am saying that some i am saying that this a this is related to b if and only if smallest element in a is equal to smallest element in b okay this is saying that smallest in a is equal to smallest in b smallest in b smallest in a is equal to smallest in b i am asking some very basic questions you tell me what is the equivalence class of this set like take this set is this element in the base set is this element in the base set so what is the equivalence class of this what is the equivalence class of this tell me what is the equivalence class of this which type of elements this will be related to we are saying a is related to b if and only if smallest element in a is equal to smallest element in b smallest element in a is equal to smallest element in b so can i say this 9 comma 10 can i say this will be related to 5 comma 10 is this true 5 comma 9 comma 10 is this true 5 comma 9 comma 10 is this true why this is not true this is not related why what is the reason because here the smallest is 9 here the smallest is 5 they are not same see what about this one 7 comma uh, 9 comma 4 is this related to is this related to tell me 4 comma 6 comma 3 is this related to this tell me let me know is this true or not see in this the minimum is 4 we are saying smallest in a smallest in a is equal to smallest in b here the smallest is 4 here the smallest is 3 so this is also not correct clear i hope this point is clear like okay one more one more final so you tell me 5 comma 9 comma 3 is this related to 5 comma uh 10 comma 2 comma 3 tell me is this related to this 593 is this related to 51023 again no again no see here the smallest is 3 and here the smallest is 2 here the smallest is 2 understood 
is this point clear see here the smallest is 3 this is not equal to 2 here the smallest is 3 here the smallest is 2 they are not equal they are not equal so understood the question now you tell me what is the equivalence class of 9 comma 10 this will be related to can i say okay which type of element should i put here see this will be related because here the minimum is 9 in this if you notice in this if you notice the smallest here that is 9 so here also the smallest must be 9 here also the smallest must be 9 so can i put 8 can i somehow put 8 can i can i can i put 8 no i cannot put 8 so i can can i put 9 comma 10 yes i can put 9 comma 10 no problem can i put 10 yes that is also uh, that is also not correct see that can i put 10 can i put 10 that is also not correct can i put 9 yeah that is also correct tell me how many more elements i can put here let me know how many more elements i can put here can i put something else can i put something else can I put something else, like something else? Give me something else which I can put. No, I cannot put. So only that's it. So this is the equivalence class of 9, 10. You tell me the equivalence class of 10, 8. Or I can say maybe uh, 9, 10. 9, 10, 8. Now tell me the equivalence class of this. Here the, here the smallest is 8. See, here the smallest is 8. So here what... Can I put simply this? Can I do this? Yes, I can do this, right? Okay, can I say 9, comma 10? Can I say 9, comma 10? No, this is wrong. This is correct. Okay, I cannot put 9, comma 10. Okay, so tell me, can I say 8, comma 10? Yeah, that is also correct. Can I say 8, comma 9, comma 10? Yeah, that is also correct. Can I put 8, comma 9? Yeah, that is also correct. Is this point clear? Okay. So now let's come to the question. The question is asking how many elements are there in the equivalence class of 267? We need to find the equivalence class of 267. 267. We need to find the equivalence class of this. Okay. So what will happen? See something very simple. Whatever you do, here the minimum, here the smallest is 2. Here the smallest is 2. So in this, can I put 2? Uh, can I put 1? Here can I put 1? Here can I put 1? I cannot put 1. I cannot put 1. And is it mandatory I need to put 2? Is it mandatory? I need to put 2. Is it mandatory? Is it mandatory that I should put 2 here? Tell me. So I can say, here whatever i do here i put if i am putting something like s i am putting some s then you can see that this two definitely belongs to s one should not belong to s that's it and this s is subset of 1 to 10. So these are the conditions only these two conditions i care about do you agree i only care about these two conditions that two must belong to this and one should not belong to this I only care about this. That's it. So now you tell me how many this type of subsets are there? Simply, how many this type of subsets are there for this 1 to 10? 1 to 10. I want those subsets. I want those subsets. You create subset where 2 must be there. Of course, 2 must be there. 1 must not be there. For the remaining elements, I have choice. For every element, I have two choices. Agree? For every element, I have two choices. See, here only one choice I have. How many choices for this one? Tell me. How many choices I have for this? For this, I have only one choice. What is that? For this, I have only one choice. What is that? One choice. Only one choice. That is don't take. I have only one choice that is don't take. What is the only choice for this? Here also I have only one choice that is take. And here I have two choices. Here I have two choices take or not take. Similarly, 
here also i have two choices so the remaining elements have two two choices one should be here one should not be here two should be here and the remaining elements have two two choices so tell me how many subsets you can create finally the answer is number of subsets that will be 2 power 8 is this clear the answer will be number of subsets containing two not containing one containing two not containing one that will be 2 power 8 so this is your 2 power 8 so this number we got what is n n is equal to 2 power 8 simple now how many equivalence classes you can create tell me how many equivalence classes you can create see number of equivalence class will only depend on the smallest element agree the number of equivalence class that will only depend on smallest element for example all those people who have smallest one they will come to this class agree or not do you agree that all the people who have smallest element one will come in this category all those all those subsets in which you have smallest element one they will come in this category so you can create a category where smallest is one okay one equivalence class you can create you can create one equivalence class equivalence classes this equivalence class you can create where minimum is one all those people who have smallest element is one you can create this equivalence class where sub smallest is two you can create this equivalence class where smallest is three and so on finally you can create this equivalence class where smallest is 10. okay tell me one thing how many elements in this equivalence class you can create this equivalence class in which the smallest will be one the smallest will be one so how many elements how many elements in this equivalence class how many people have smallest one how many people have smallest one two power nine people because you have to take one you must take one how many people have smallest two that we have already seen that we have already seen how many people have smallest two that is two power eight how how many people have smallest three that will be two power seven and so on how many people have smallest 10 smallest 10 only one only one okay so this is the idea this is your question so remember your number of equivalence class will only depend on how many smallest elements you can create and that is 10 because that's it smallest can be one smallest can be one smallest can be two smallest can be three smallest can be 10 so m is equal to 10 so your final answer will be what that is 2256 uh, two, plus 10 that is 266 this is the answer okay 2 power 8 that is 256 256 plus 10 that is 266 so the answer is 266 so this is another question is this clear are you confident in equivalence relations are you confident in this equivalence relations topic one thing that i want to tell you very honestly on the entire internet stanford university berkeley university iit nptl standard books kenneth rosen grimaldi oscar levin basically on the entire internet every type of question that can be created from equivalence relation we have covered these two three new questions beautiful questions from stanford university those also we have taken from equivalence relation if you ask me to create a new question okay something new that you have never seen before i cannot do that okay i have exhausted all the type of questions is that clear now only these questions that we have seen in our lectures in the practice set do you remember the 30 question practice set of equivalence relation 30 question 30 standard question practice set in that practice set in our lectures and in this weekly quiz all the questions that we have seen now the variations of these questions you will find everywhere on the internet you will find variations of these questions 
okay only these only these questions the variations you will find on the internet okay so i hope you are loving all the questions and uh, so please stay consistent attempt all the weekly quizzes attempt all the test of the go classes and get or for test series stay consistent okay so i hope you are loving these questions and we have seen the discussion if any other question you want me to discuss please let me know on the go classes private telegram group you let me know if you want me to discuss any any other question from this quiz okay in this quiz quiz number 13 if any other question you want me to discuss let me know okay so thank you everyone